Okay, so here's the project. First of all, I gotta show you this. The way that single down tube works, it's uh, pretty tough to get this thing to stand up straight on a jack, so I hacked together that bracket the other day and uh, seems to make this a whole lot easier and it's nice and stable. You can see the whole bike's jacked way up off the ground. Everything's working well. So uh, there's that. All right, so here's what we're working on right now. The Having lived with this thing for most of the summer, I decided the front end is just awful bouncy. So what I want to do to hopefully correct that is install this, which is the Moto Iron shock kit that I got from TC Bros. And uh, it, it looks like it's going to go on real simple. The uh, what I noticed here is it's got you know these shafts that go down through the through the springs. I'm assuming that what that the reason we have those is that the shaft that's in here now I think there's a taper where it fits in down here. And since that new plate's going to be bolted under there, it needs to be a little longer, so they have to replace them. I don't even know if they're metric. They're probably really big bolts. Yeah, there you go. It's a three-quarter. So, we'll come around this way. Sorry. And let's see how this goes. That didn't, that didn't come too hard. All right, I don't know if these, go set these down. Tall and thin and young and lovely, the girl from Ipanema goes walking. There it goes. All right, we got one. Here you go. Right here. Ta da! There it one. is. One. Now I just need to get yeah, that not one. Not too close, everybody. They can't see when you're an inch away. Now, hopefully, this doesn't go. Oh, this, is all, this is all pretty free. All right, so there's. Let's put this all over here. And I'm going to leave that zip tie on, because why not? And that just sits there. When she walks, she's like a samba that swings so cool. We got a winner. Go get it. Use this sledgehammer. All right. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. So there it is. All right. Well, I guess it's time to pop open the new parts. Compare it to what we started with. And Proceed accordingly. Got a different looking. You're right here, son. Put the, here the one. The the shaft on the right is the stock one that came on the Springer. The one on the left is the modified one that came with the shock kit. And you notice the thread pitch is different. It's actually the new one has a finer thread, and it's obviously a little bit longer. 
because it has to reach through this plate that's going to mount up underneath like so. And uh, the taper, it's kind of hard to say, but the taper looks like it's shaped a little differently as well, which I haven't decided yet if this is going to be a problem. Because what, uh, what I'm in the middle of here is the shaft there. That's one of the new ones. And so far, it only sticks out enough where I could just grab a couple of threads worth on the end of that uh, end of that shaft with the nut. So what I've been doing is I take the the new nut, spin it on, spin it on there, and then. Uh, you know, just crank it down to try to pull that taper in. And uh, <laughs> it's turning awful hard and I'm getting a little nervous I'm gonna break something, but I'm just gonna crank it down a little more, see if I can get another 16th or at least a couple more threads worth because there's really not enough threads sticking out right now for me to feel comfortable getting getting after it. So anyway, that's uh, that's what's what with that. All right, well, here it is all wrapped up. A couple of things just to note if you ever are doing an install like this. When I was using these nuts to pull the rods down and basically pull them into the taper, I mean, honestly, at, at one point I thought I had stripped it out because it was pulling real hard and then it pulled easy. And I just I realized later that all that was was the shoulder of the rod kind of getting into the taper and 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 that's that so you know, I ended up cranking them down pretty good and uh, got some blue Loctite on them and that uh, that ended up working fine I figured out the uh, the shock kit includes these spacers and I realize now that the reason for those is if you're using those rods without a shock then you're going to want the spacers to replace the width of this bracket, which wouldn't be there. So I'm assuming they kind of designed that to be, kind of call it universal. I don't know. But uh, that's that. And then as noted before, just remember the bolts down, or the nuts down here and on top, both the adjustment nuts and the cap nuts, all of this stuff up here, those are all a different thread pitch on the new rods. The stock ones which I've got sitting over here, are not reusable with the new rods because they're, they're a different thread pitch. It's, as you can tell, it's dark and I've got electrical problems, which we'll talk about in another video. So I didn't really get a chance to do a lot of testing, but I did just go out and run it around the block. And um, so far, all I can say is dramatic improvement. Really glad I added the shock. I'll be glad when I get my electrical stuff sorted and can really get this thing out on the road and test it out, but it feels like a whole new bike. Very happy with it. There you go. That's the update.